What's up travelers, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about just how expensive it is here in Hawaii. So whether you're a traveler or you're thinking about moving here, stick around. Hey travelers, welcome back to One Suitcase. I'm sitting here underneath Diamond Head in a beautiful park. It was a little windy to go to the beach today, so I'm doing it from here. Today we're gonna to talk about just how expensive it is to live here in Hawaii. So we're gonna kind of go through each section. We're gonna start with housing, whether that be temporary or permanent, move on to you know essentials, food, electricity, things of that nature, and finish up with entertainment and some of the things to do. I think Hawaii is one of those places that can be as expensive as you want to make it. So uh, you have some great information here, so make sure and stick around. I'll give you a little view of the park I'm sitting at. All right, so let's talk about housing. So this month, September 2022, it's actually not September, but that's the most recent one. Average sale price on Oahu, $1,296,861. So pretty expensive uh, for buying a house here things just seem to keep going up. That's consistent throughout the islands, I would say. Big Island maybe a little bit less expensive. Maui and Kauai maybe a little bit more expensive, uh, but it's gonna cost you a few bucks. If you think you can beat that, you'll see some cheap condos here, but condo fees can be pretty hefty. It's not unusual to see $1,000 to $2,000 a month condo fees, although a lot of those include utilities, which we'll talk about utilities in the next one because they are expensive here. So the alternative obviously to buying is to rent. Average rent in Oahu, nope, let's see, wrong screen, there we go. Average rent in Oahu, 24, 29, 856 square feet is the average size. I would say that realistically, in my experience, if you wanna be in the, a, a good area, you're gonna pay anywhere from about 2,000, probably on the low end for a studio condo uh, up. We've been paying, as a nightly rental, we pay about 100 bucks a night ish and then it's got some tax on that so it ends up being about 3600 to 4000 a month it's kind of the range that we've been in that'll get you a nice one bedroom uh, place if you're long term renting i've seen pretty nice two bedrooms uh, in waikiki area for around 3000 on the monthly rent so the rent's not super cheap but not horrible all right, we'll talk about transportation. Here's some clips of me riding around the island. I think transportation here, I think we actually spend less than we did on the mainland. Our insurance is pretty cheap. Uh, we don't have a fancy car, but we've got a midsize SUV, four wheel drive, and we pay uh, 330 every six months for full coverage. So I think that's quite a bit less than, than what we paid on the mainland. And um, you know, it's a small island, so you don't drive. Gas is a little bit more expensive, but we don't use nearly as much uh, fuel. And uh, maintenance is, is, is more expensive, definitely. So if you can do your own maintenance, that'll save you a few bucks. But generally, I think transportation, there's a lot of options. I ride my moped a lot. And uh, I got a transportation video you can watch if you're interested. But there's lots of ways you can survive without a car uh, here. So I think that transportation is actually less than it is on the mainland. All right, let's take a quick walk through the grocery store. Uh, 10 to 12 bucks for a frozen pizza, pretty typical. This is just at a Safeway, which is like a Kroger. Uh, we do go to Costco and Sam's Club. You do save a little bit with those, but 870 for a gallon of milk, pretty typical here. Bread is really expensive. Uh, this is just standard white bread, four and a half bucks. Uh, dozen eggs, $6.50. Brick of cream cheese, $6.00 and uh, just again everything's got to be imported uh, there's lemons on sale for a dollar 70 each soda is super expensive uh, 950 for a 12 pack that's on sale or you can buy a two liter for 379 and uh, next up is cereal we just got some Chex mix 850 for a box of uh, standard Chex mix some crackers for 629 on sale and last but not least, there's some Tide on sale for $17. So should give you a pretty good idea of, of how much more expensive. I would say groceries here are about double what they are on the mainland. Let's talk about eating out. There's lots of great food here and all kinds of price points. So here's a menu from Hula Grill, a place we like to go. Uh, as you can see, you know, their entrees range anywhere from about 30 bucks up to 60 bucks. And uh, that's a decent place on the beach. Glass of wine there is going to set you back 10 to $12 uh, for a house wine and go up to as much as you want to probably spend. But great food. If you go there, they always have a two fish special that's fantastic and a beautiful view right on the beach. All right, another place we like to go is called Cheeseburger in Paradise, right there on the main drag in Waikiki across the street from the beach. 
uh, kind of a casual little place to get a nice little bar there and uh, you know entrees there range right around 20 bucks a little more affordable a little bit more of a casual environment you get a pretty good cocktail menu if you want to have a mai tai or something exotic they have all those they range around 12 bucks so overall you know pretty decent place and fairly affordable another place we like to go is maui brewing it's right there on calicao avenue they have a rooftop uh location so it's outdoor they have live music and things of that nature again their menus around 20 bucks ish uh for things you could go a little bit more or a little bit less but generally the range they get a whole bunch of local beers seltzers all that stuff they make themselves and they have a full cocktail menu if you're a movie person we get a great movie theater right here uh, at the alamoana mall they have a great reclining seats super comfortable and uh, a ticket there will set you back sixteen dollars and seventy five cents uh, for adults fourteen dollars for seniors I don't know how that compares to the mainland, but they also have a great food and drink uh, menu at this spot. And uh, the great food, not real expensive. As you can see, hot dogs sit you back six and a half bucks. Uh, they get ice cream and all kinds of other typical theater food. They have some pretty good sandwiches, you know, around 10, $11, so pretty reasonable. They also have a, a bar where it has uh, beer, wine, and uh, I think limited cocktails, but those all are around 10 bucks. Uh, eight and a half to ten and a half looks like so if you're in the mood for a movie it's a great place to take one in if you like animals there's the honolulu zoo uh right here right in the heart of waikiki and uh, going there will set you back i think it's 18 dollars for yeah excuse me 19 dollars for adults unless you're local or military in which case it goes down to eight bucks uh, but the zoo is right here in town easy to walk to and nice place to go so hopefully it's helped you get a feel for what things cost here. I'll leave you with a little footage of uh, riding down the main drag in Waikiki. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe. i got a bunch more coming up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.